So menin inhibitors are being developed in uh, AML based on the uh, pathogenesis of AML in patients with MPM1 mutations and KMT2A rearrangements. Both of those mutations um, will signal through the menin KMT2A um, pathway and lead uh, to um, upregulation of HOXA9 and MIS1 blocking differentiation and causing a leukemogenic profile. Menin inhibitors can overcome um, that interaction between KMT2A and menin leading to differentiation, the proposed mechanism of action of menin inhibitors. There are a number of menin inhibitors in development. At um, uh, SOHO, uh, we presented our data, uh, uh, an Encore presentation from our ECA presentation um, of ziftomenin, specifically in patients with MPM1 mutated acute myeloid leukemia that had relapsed or refractory to prior lines of therapy. And what we saw with this single agent dose of 600 milligrams a day was that the uh, complete uh, remission rate was uh, 40%. So that's CR and complete remissions without uh, complete uh, blood count recovery was 40%. The uh, median time to that first response was 51 days. The median duration of response, uh, not censoring at the time of transplant, um, was eight months. So we think that um, as a single agent, um, this uh, provides efficacy. On the other hand, how about safety? What we saw in the, um, uh, this phase one expansion or the phase two part of the study um, was the drug was well tolerated. We did not see a signal for QT prolongation. Uh, we did not see a significant uh, GI toxicity. We did see differentiation syndrome in four of the uh, 20 patients. Um, only one of them was grade three and it was managed appropriately. Uh, so we think the toxicity profile also supports the use of ziftomenib as a single agent in relapse refractory NPM1 mutated AML, especially when you compare um, the results we're seeing with the outcomes of NPM1 mutated AML that's relapsed refractory as um, published by uh, Gus Isa from uh, the MD Anderson group. Uh, we also studied this in the KMT2A rearranged uh, patient population. Um, we saw clear biologic activity, but a, a very uh, pronounced signal for leukocytosis and differentiation syndrome. And so we are proceeding with ziftomenib development in KMT2A rearranged AML and ALL, but in combination with chemotherapy. Finally, there's much discussion about the mechanisms of resistance to the menin inhibitors. Uh, with rebumenib, they have uh, seen several mutations develop which um, uh, confer resistance to menin inhibitors. Um, and this has been shown um, by uh, in vitro work as well. In our study, um, we only found one patient who developed a um, uh, menin uh, mutation. Now we used a different technology than they did in the Revumenib study. The Revumenib study used a very sensitive single cell assay where they picked up and counted any cell that had a mutation. Ours uh, was based on an RNA-seq assay, um, which was less sensitive, but we hypothesized that if that mutation was leading to resistance, we should really be able to see it. Uh, so I think we have a lot to learn still, though, about uh, the, this mechanism and other mechanisms of resistance to menin inhibitors. But we look forward to combination studies um, uh, of menin inhibitors with both intensive and less intensive chemotherapy, both ziftomenib, revumenib, and a number of other drugs that are in development.